the God who answers prayer. Church. Yes. Remember, faith the great what size of a what? A mustard seed. He'll grow your faith, praise yes. God. Yes. I'm telling you, when he answers those prayers, and when you see him come through time and time again, yes. it just grows your faith. Yes. Yes. Right. It just like you said this morning, you see what he done there. Oh, that gets you to the next time because you see what he did there. That's and what he's going to do there, praise right. God. And what he's going to do in their life, praise God. And what he's going to do in your family. Praise yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Right, thank you, Lord, for what you're doing. Praise God. Let's give the Lord another hand clap of praise. Thank you, Jesus. All right, all right. We are going to be waiting on for our tithes and offerings. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank thanks. Thanks. I give you thanks for all. Done. I am so blessed, my soul has found rest, oh Lord, I give you thanks, hallelujah, hallelujah, Lord, thank you, thanks, thanks, I give you thanks for all Bless this offering tonight, Lord God. We thank you for this offering. I pray, Lord God, that you will look into each one of our hearts, Lord God. We know you want a cheerful giver, Lord. For those that were able to give, Lord God, I pray that they gave because they felt it. For those that were not able to give tonight, Lord God, bless us all, Lord. Bless our families, Lord. Bless our bodies. Bless our homes. Bless our lineages, Lord God. We thank you for this offering, Lord. And Lord, we pray that you will use this offering in your kingdom, Lord, yes. to help build out and finish your church. Finish what you started in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. And we thank you for this offering in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. The presence of the Lord is here tonight, church. Amen. And I, I do believe I have come expecting tonight to hear a word from the Amen. Lord. Amen. I have come expecting to hear that word, that fresh word from the Lord tonight. Amen. Who else has come prepared? Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Pastor. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise right. the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank Glory you, Jesus. Be to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise. part of the service, we have a baptismal certificate. Amen. We have Lisa Lynn Daly up here in the front. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus.
things but both according to the word of God. Come on. Right. Right. According to the Amen. word of God. Hallelujah. Yeah. That's what we love here. That's what we trust here. Yes. Amen. Amen. Right. That's it. Yes, we do. Trust the word of God. That's yes. it. Praise Amen. God. Praise Amen. God. Are you excited about what things God is doing around yeah. us? Yeah. Yeah. God. Amen. And to be involved with God's people. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Thank I'm you, so, so thankful how God is working among us. Yes. Amen. Helping us. Yes. Amen. Yes, we, you. we have a desire. Yes. Uh, we love Jesus. Amen. Amen. We love Amen. people. We love bringing the two together. Amen. Amen. We believe that this is going to be the church to go to. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Praise Amen. God. It's going to be the church Amen. to go to. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Hallelujah. Our Hallelujah. brother Hicks was calling me. <laughs> <laughs> My body's hurt too, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the spring. Oh, hey, man. Praise hey. God. Hey. Amen. We have to get off the couch now. <laughs> praise God. Uh, if you have a Bible, we're going to read a couple of verses of Scripture tonight. Amen. Amen. And we're going to start off in Psalms. Chapter 69. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. And I'm going to, we're just going to read there from verse 9. For the zeal of thine house have eaten me up, and the reproaches of them that reproach thee are fallen upon, upon me. And so I also want to go to Psalms chapter 69 and go down to verse 29. In verse 29 it says, Go ahead and read 69, 30, 29 through 31. Praise God. Uh, Psalm 69, 29 through 31. But I am poor and sorrowful. Let thy salvation, O God, set me up on high. I will praise the name of God with a song and will magnify him with thanksgiving. This also shall please the Lord better than an ox or a bullet that hath horns and hooves. Amen. Praise God. Amen. 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 So the psalmist David there talking um, and speaking about his desire yes. Amen. to praise the Lord. Amen. And praise the, the zeal of his the house. He was happy to be in the house of God. Amen. Amen. He was the one that said, you know, that he was happy and thankful to be going into the house of God. Yeah. Right. Amen. He loved the house of God. He yeah. loved the place of prayer. Yeah. That's he right. loved the place of God's presence. Amen. Amen. That's what we need. That's, Amen. That's, that's where we need to live at. Amen. 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 We should never say, oh, I got to go to church. Right. That's Amen. right. <laughs> it should always be Get to go to church. Amen. Hallelujah. I love Amen. to go to church. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. That's not going to happen. Thank you, Jesus. Unless you let the zeal of God's Ooh, house God. eat you up. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. So I just want to talk a few minutes. Jesus. Hallelujah. About the power of zeal. Amen. Amen. Good. Praise God. Power of zeal. Jesus. You may be seated. Amen. Lord, in the name of Jesus, help me tonight, Lord God. Lord, Lord, help me, Lord God, to present what you laid on my heart, Lord God. Yes. Hallelujah. I pray that you open every ear, every heart tonight, Lord God. 
and that you deposit us, Lord God, yes. into us, Lord God, the yes. desire to be in your house, yes. to love your house, yes. hallelujah, to love the people of your house, yes. to be involved, Lord God, in what you're doing in your house. Yes. In the name of Jesus, I pray, Lord God, that you help us to open up to you tonight, Lord yes. God. And I pray, Lord God, you anoint my mind and my spirit as I bring your word, Lord God, yes. and that you would help us, Lord God, to be in church that you want us to be. In Jesus' name. Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Give the Lord a hand clap for Praise God. Praise God. Amen. So we we love being in the house of God. Yes. Amen. Yes. He was a man that just he just loved going to church. Yes. Yes. He loved being in God's presence. Amen. He loved being in God's presence. Thank you, Jesus. David was um, reproached of his zeal toward God's house. And so um, people um, just always thought he was overzealous about being in God's house. It's just all he could think about was God's presence. Amen. That's why he has a king. Can you imagine being a king and having so many responsibilities of taking care of uh, the people of God and taking care of Israel and running the nation? Oh. But he had time. He made time yes, to yes. spend time in prayer Amen. in God's yes, house. Yes, Amen. Yes. You know, that's that's the only true way to really lead anything. Right. It's true. You, you need to have a desire Amen. to be led of God regardless of what you do. Amen. Amen. And all the things that came against him in his kingdom and, and so many different things and trials and some of his own fault. Mm -hmm. Some of the fault of his own family and some of the fault of the enemy. But he always turned his way back to God. Amen. Right. Always went back in the house of God and found out where the council is. Amen. Where it's, it's mighty things that. So let's turn to um, Isaiah chapter 9. I want you to read Isaiah chapter 9, verses 6 through 8. Isaiah chapter 9, verses 6 through 8. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it, to establish it with judgment and with the justice from henceforth even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Amen. The Lord sent a word into Jacob, and it hath lighted upon Israel. Amen. 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 So the word he sent there, and so we're talking about in the house of God. There is the Almighty God. Amen. Amen. When you enter into the house of God and get into God's presence, you should be excited. Amen. Amen. You should be excited because the Lord of glory is in the house yes. of God. Amen. He's waiting for you. Amen. That's where you find out how wonderful He is. Amen. That's where you found. That's where you can find counsel. Thank you. Hallelujah. Right. I remember many times just going into the church just to pray in the church instead of praying at home. Yes. And the, and the Spirit would come. Hallelujah. And minister to you. Yes. And, and give you a word. Yes. Hallelujah. That you can get word in your own private prayer house. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Because the spirit, the desire, the hunger for God was already in the house of God. Amen. 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 It's already there. It's waiting on you to arrive. Ooh, that's right. Yeah. So that it can counsel you. So it can help you. There's nothing like being in the presence no. of the almighty God. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. 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 And so <clears throat> there was a people called Zealots. Zealous is the name was the name of a fanatical Jewish party. Um, the strongest form of them was between AD six and and to um, AD seventy. They were political, having for its the aim to overthrow the Roman authority and the religious seeking a Jewish theocracy over the whole earth. They had a desire, a zeal to take over. Mm -hmm. Amen. And, but they weren't underneath the direction of God. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. 
And so a zeal is a desire, okay? A, a vehement desire yes. to accomplish a thing or purpose, okay? Right. And so uh, zeal can also be put in the wrong direction. Right. right. If you notice here, these zealots, they came in the, the part of A.D. when the New Testament church was about to be birthed, okay? And so they were trying to deliver Israel from Roman rule with the wrong methods. Right. Okay? Amen. And so that's why you need to get your zeal from the house of God. Amen. Amen. You need to get it from prayer. Amen. You need to get it from preaching. That's right. You need to get it from like uh, precious faith from other believers. Amen. You don't want your zeal to be, um, uh, the zeal can also go for things of the world. Right. And doing things the way the world wants it to. Right. Yeah. I got a desire. I got a zeal. Hallelujah. To do something. But I want it to be done for the Lord. Amen. Yeah. I want it to be done God's way. Yeah. Yeah. I want it to be God's purpose. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Because we have the wrong priorities. Our zeal can get us into a lot of problems. Yeah. Come on. Amen. That's right. Come on, All right. That's right. And so there's no gift or no thing that you have within you. That's any good if it's not yielded to God. Right. It can lead you into the wrong direction. Right. It can turn your heart, hallelujah, to have the wrong priorities. Right. And then when you have those priorities, anything that you do, whether it's in faith or not, it's a consequence to it. Amen. Right. And so you can have a good consequence or you can have a bad consequence. That's right. Amen. And they, they, they had a, a desire to remove uh, Israel away from the Roman throne, you know, the Romans were dominating the world and, and the Israelites were there basically as slaves, okay? Um, they began to live there and dwell there and they did think they had positions and all, but they weren't part of the hierarchy, okay? Mm -hmm. Only the priests had some respect there, right. okay? And so, but so he one day had these other ones that wanted to break them out and get them free. But they wanted to do it the wrong That's way. Right. Right. That's right. So they caused more damage in Israel than they did any kind of salvation away right. from the Roman Empire. Amen. They constantly, constantly caused the Romans to uh, come after them and hate them. Mm -hmm. Okay, And so that's why it was so much harder when Jesus Christ came and wanted them to be, wanted them to be delivered. Because okay? there was an odd against the Jews yes. by then because of the activities of the zealots. Yes. Okay? They stirred up the wrong thing. Right. And that's what we do when we don't allow, allow God to lead us and guide us into right. his priority. Yeah. We stir up the that's wrong right. thing yeah. and make it so bad. Then we're stirring it up for nothing. Right. It's oh. not really a victory. Come on. It's right. not really a reward. Yeah. It's best that you give everything to God. And let him direct your path. Amen. That's right. Let him put a desire yeah. in you. Yeah. And it starts by being in the house of God. Yeah. You got to want to be preached to. You got to want to hear the word of God. You got to want to be in Christ, uh, you know, in precious faith with others. Amen. Doing what God wants you to do. Yeah. Amen. 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 I, I want us to be that kind of church. Yes. So I'm going I'm to get some readers out here. So I'm going to be here late tonight. Amen. Brother Trey, get Psalm chapter 119, verse 139. Psalm 119, verse 39. Praise God. Is that 139? 139, and we'll read all the way to 44. One nine, Psalm 119, 139. My zeal hath consumed me because mine enemies have forgotten thy words. Thy word is very pure. Therefore thy servant loveth it. I am small and despised, yet do not I forget thy precepts. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. Amen. Trouble and anguish have taken hold on me, yet thy commandments are my delights. The righteousness of the testimonies is everlasting. Give me understanding, and I shall live. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So you can see here, he had went into the house of God, and his zeal ended up being for the right thing. Right. Man. Okay. He, he allowed the, the word of God um, to guide the zeal, the desire that he had in his heart. Yes, it did. And it brought him into a place to desire righteousness and wanted Man. to do what he wanted to do Man. the right way. Yeah. 
That's why we got to have a zeal for the house of God. Amen. We got to have a desire to be in church. We got to have a desire, hallelujah, to hear the word of God because it will change us. Yes. It will guide yes. us. Yes. It will increase the righteousness yes. that's inside of us. Amen. That my righteousness, is of, your righteousness is of me. That's what the yes. Lord said. That's right. And, and so we can't actually live righteous without God. That's right. That's right. We can only do a little bit of good, but when we get the righteousness of God inside of our hearts, yes. hallelujah, by coming into the house of God, then we will go out and our priorities will not only be the right priorities, we will do it the right way. Yes. Amen. Yes. Hey, we will do it the right way. Give the Lord a hand clap for praise. Yes. Bless, bless Amen. Amen. I, I'm, I'm thankful that I have a guide. Amen. I have a guide that will guide me after the things Amen. that he wants me to do. Amen. And so zeal in a description is actually the joy of the Lord. Amen. Okay. It is the joy of, a, of the Lord. The Bible says the joy of the Lord is our strength. Amen. Amen. So when you are doing something joyfully unto God, God will anoint you. He will strengthen you to be able to perform it. Right. You, you, you come up here tired, but your desire to do a work for God will cause strength to come upon you in the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. There, there, there's, no, there's nothing like the power of the joy of God. Amen. You know, Jesus used it on the cross. Right. For the joy that was set before him. Oh, Come on. Right. That's right. Right. He endured the cross and he despised the shame. Yeah. The translation says he thought nothing of the shame. Right. He wasn't ashamed to suffer for us. Because right. the joy for the Lord was us. Amen. Amen. Yeah. He was doing this to obtain his bride. Come on. Hallelujah. To remove that, uh, to, to make a bridge over the gap that was between us because of sin. Amen. Oh, what's he? Thank you. What zeal the Lord had to obtain us. Yeah. Hallelujah. In short power. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This, this, this is worth the pain. This is worth the effort. This is worth the tiredness. This is worth being hated. Come on. I, I must purchase this people. Yes. I must purchase this bride that's going to worship me for eternity. Yeah. Woo. Hallelujah. It's going to dance on the streets of gold. Come on. Yeah. Hallelujah. It's going to be calling on my name and dancing. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, the joy will strengthen me. Amen. Hallelujah, my focus will be on my reward, not on what I got to go through to get to my reward. Praise God. Hallelujah. It is the spirit of the Lord. Romans chapter 10, verse 14. Brother GW, I want you to get Romans chapter 10, verse 2. Go ahead, Brother Trey. Romans 10, 14. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah saith, Lord, who hath believed our report. Amen. All right. Who have believed our report. Amen. Okay. And so they, they, they were preaching. They had the zeal of the Lord inside their hearts. Amen. Hallelujah. They were bringing the gospel hallelujah, to the world. Uh, go, go back, Brother Trey, and read Romans 10. Go back to verses 1 through 4. I missed something there. Brethren, my heart's desire and there prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. Mm. For they be ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness right. have not submitted themselves into the righteousness of God. Mm. Yeah. For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believes. Amen. Amen. For, for Moses... Describeth the righteousness which is of the law, that the man which doeth these things shall live by them. But the righteousness which is of faith speaketh on this wise, say not in thine heart, 
who shall ascend into heaven, that is to bring Christ down from above. All right, that's good. Okay, so you see there, the zeal of the Lord has a righteousness with it. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Like I said, you can be uh, zealous for the wrong thing right. and do it zealously the wrong way. Yeah. Okay, and that's what he, that's what Paul was speaking of. I had those scriptures out of order. Okay, right. but, um, and so the desire that Paul had, who was full of the Holy Ghost and speaking for God, hallelujah, that we would have a desire to do it, but we don't want to miss the mark. Amen. Okay, they didn't, they didn't have the knowledge of what they had zeal for. Right. And that's what was causing them to fail. Yeah. Okay. And so then he went on later to say, it is the gospel that you got to have the zeal for. Amen. It's Amen. the gospel that will deliver your nation, deliver your community, yeah. deliver your family. That's right. You got to have the zeal to preach and share the gospel. Amen. Okay. The death, burial, and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. Right. And then all of, as we spoke before about being fully alive, then all the other blessings that come in yes. with us yes. and make the saint, hallelujah, enjoy his life. Yes. Hallelujah. And then have a reward at the end that you yes. can never imagine. Yes. That's right. Hallelujah. That's, that's the proper hallelujah. zeal. Hallelujah. That's what we should be desiring. That's what we should be hungry yes. for. Yes. Paul, nobody knew that like Paul the Apostle. That's right. Hallelujah. Yes. For he had the wrong desires in the beginning. Right. Yes. Yes. And so you can, hallelujah, um, <clears throat> miss righteousness. You can have misguided zeal. Right. Amen. You can have misguided zeal. Amen. And so that's what Paul was preaching against. Brother uh, GW, you had scripture for us there. Um, chapter 10. Yes. Verse 4. We just read. No, we just read that. Yeah. Okay, we already read it. No, you had wrote in chapter 10, verse 2. Did he read verse 2? Yes. 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 Okay. All right. So go to Galatians chapter 1. Amen. And we're going to read from 1 to 14. Up to me. Hold on. Galatians chapter 1, 14 through 24. And prophet is unto the Jews' religion. Above many, my equals in my own nation, be more exceedingly zealous of the traditions of my father. But when it pleased God, who mm -hmm. separated me from my mother's womb and called me by his grace. To reveal his son in me, that I might preach him among the heathen. Immediately I confer conferred not with flesh and blood. Neither went I up to Jerusalem to them which were apostles before me. But I went into Arabic and returned again into Damas Damascus. Then after three years I went up to Jerusalem to see Peter and abode with him fifteen days. But other other apostles saw I none. Say James, the Lord's brother. Now the things which I write unto you, behold, before God, I lie not. Afterwards, I came into the regions of Syria and Sicilia, and it was unknown my face unto the churches of Judea, which were in Christ. But they had heard only that he which persecuted us in times past now preaches the faith which once he destroyed. And they glorified God in me. Amen. 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 So here you see a man that was zealous, okay, yeah. against the church, a ze zealous against the truth. He was a very intelligent man, a very learned man, and actually knew uh, more scripture um, than the people that he was coming against. He, he, knew, he knew the scriptures back and forth, but his zeal was for the wrong direction. Right, that's right. Mom, okay, he, he, he had a zeal, but not after knowledge. Right. Okay, he didn't know God for himself. That's right. He only knew things about God. Amen. And there's Amen. a big difference. Hallelujah. You know, it's like it, it, when a man is looking for a wife, and, and, and he's searching for a wife, and he got friends that tell him about somebody that might be good for him. Uh -uh. But he don't know. Right. And so all he can do is bank on the stuff that he's heard. Right. Okay. And, and so he got to spend that time in that relationship so he can find out 
if he's making the right choice. Amen. Okay, and so you, you can't just do things on head knowledge. It takes a relationship. Come on, that's good. So if you're going to have a zeal for God, make sure you have a relationship. Come on, good. great. You have a ministry for God, that's make sure you right. have a relationship. Yeah. Make sure that you're doing, hallelujah, the way that God would want you to do it. Yes. Make sure you're doing it according to the word of God. Yes. According Amen. to the scripture. Because that's what's going to please him. Amen. That's Praise what's going to cause him to put his hands in it. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. He's going to use your zeal, hallelujah, to perform yes. his miracles. Amen. To perform Amen. his will. And, and make sure you got the right priority when you have the zeal of God. Amen. Amen. I mean, all that takes is study to show yourself Amen. approved unto God. That's a right. woman need of not be ashamed. Amen. Rightly dividing the word of truth. Amen. You want to make sure that you're doing it in truth. Amen. You want to make sure that your desire to bring people to God to be saved. Yes. That's right. You want to make sure that you want to have the glory of God come from your life. That's right. Amen. That's right. That's right. Thank so Paul the Apostle, he had all that zeal. But thanks be on to God's grace and mercy. And God looked upon his zeal and he said, I can convert him. Yep. That's right. I can change him. Yeah. Yeah. He loved me, but he don't know the knowledge. Let me break him a little. That's what he so did. he knocked him off his high horse. Yes, he did. Hallelujah. And he said, what, what, what you want me to do, Lord? He sent him back to them people that he was trying to destroy. Right. So he could get his priorities right. That's right. Hallelujah. After he got his priorities right, hallelujah, he became the apostle that's above the apostle. Amen. Amen. God used that head knock, but you got to make sure that you turn everything over to God. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. You got to let the Lord be the God. Amen. Hallelujah, of your zeal, Amen. of what you want to do for him. Amen. You want to stay hallelujah, within the boundaries of what God wants to do. Because when we get the flesh in there, look out. Look out, the flesh will tear up everything. Amen. It will cause us to be misguided. Yes. That's cause us to overdo it. That's right. And we, we, don't, we don't want the Lord... Hallelujah. Not to receive the glory Amen. for what he's going to do. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Amen. Let's look at Acts chapter 22, verse 3. Just a little example there. Brother Hicks, I want you to get Titus chapter 2, verse 14. All right, go ahead and read that first one. Acts 22, 3. Mm -hmm. I am verily a man, which am a Jew, born in Tarsus, a city in Cilicia, yet brought up in this city at the feet of Gamaliel, and taught according to the perfect manner of the law of the fathers, and was zealous toward God, as ye all are this day. Keep going. And I persecuted this way into death, <laughs> binding and delivering it to prisons both men and women, as also the high priest doth bear me witness, and all the estate of the elders, from whom also I received letters unto the brethren, and went to Damascus to bring them, which were in bound unto Jerusalem to be punished. And it came to pass that as I made my journey, and was come nigh unto Damascus about noon, suddenly there shone from heaven a great light round about me. And I fell unto the ground, and heard a voice saying unto me, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? And I answered, Who art thou, Lord? And he said unto me, I am Jesus of Nazareth, whom thou persecutest. And they that were with me saw indeed the light and were afraid, but they heard not the voice of him that spoke to me. And I said, What shall I do, Lord? And the Lord said unto me, Arise and go into Damascus. And there it shall be told thee of all things which are appointed for thee to do. And when I could not see for the glory of that light, being led by the hand of them that were with me, I came into Damascus. And one Ananias, a devout man according to the law, having a good report of all the Jews which had dwelt there, came unto me and stood and said unto me, Brother Saul, receive thy sight. And the same hour I looked upon him, and he said, The God of our fathers, have chosen thee, that thou shouldest know his will, Amen. and see that just one, and shouldest hear the voice of his mouth. That's good. So you see here a conversion. 
Amen. of God using the zeal of a man when his priorities isn't right. Yes. Yeah. And, but he turned him completely around. Amen. Hallelujah. And made him a great apostle. He built many churches Amen. and wrote like two thirds of the New Testament. That's right. I wonder what God can do if you'll let him have it. Oh, come Amen. on. Come on. I know I'm in the midst of a bunch of talented, educated people. Yeah. Uh, I believe that God wants to use you. Amen. Come on. Amen. Amen. I, believe, I don't believe you, you, you call here to warm up the pew. You know, we we glad the pews is warm. Amen. <laughs> but he came brought you here to worship God. Yeah. But he brought you here to give you influence. Amen. 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 That's right. We must use the influence that we have. Yeah. Amen. Right. Too many people waste their influence Come on things that don't matter. That's right. You know, yeah. having influence isn't just so you can be popular. Right. Real influence is so that you can make something else popular. Amen. Amen. Real influence Amen. is going to make Jesus Christ Amen. popular. Amen. When they see it on the low life. When they feel it. Amen. When they see your zealous act. Right. I, mean, I got to have that. I got to get involved with that. Where's the people that's doing Amen. that? Come on. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let God break us. Amen. Take, it, take away the zeal and the Amen. desire for the things of this world. Amen. Brother Hicks, read to us 2 Timothy chapter 2, 14 and 15. Titus, Titus excuse me. Titus 2, 14. Who gave himself before us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people? Zealous of good works. Amen. Okay, and so we need to be zealous yes. Amen. of good works. Amen. Okay, we want to work the righteousness of God, Amen. and then God will help us. Yes. Hallelujah to be a light to others. Amen. Amen. And the hand of God will be mighty upon us, Hallelujah. so that we'll be able to do Amen. that which, the, which God has set forth for us to do. Amen. Amen. God don't mind you being zealous. But he wants you to be zealous for him. Amen. He wants you to have a hunger. Hallelujah. To glorify him. That's right. Uh, I know when we were starting this service today, I'm feeling such a burden, such a drawing from God. Amen. I know I, I know that spirit. I, I had it many times. I feel God is commanding. God is pulling you to have a desire and a burden for somebody else Amen. or for some specific thing. Hallelujah. That God has to do in the church. Come on. Hallelujah. That's, that's why he's dealing with you. That's, that's why he's humbling you. That's why he's messing with you in your prayer life. Amen. That's why he's making you rise up to fight the devil back. Hallelujah. He's going to use the zeal that's already inside of you Amen. to strengthen right. you. Yes. To make you want to step past anything to please him. That's right. Because he has a purpose in your life. Yes. Yes. We're not here just to waste time. That's right. Amen. God has something for everybody to do. Yes. Come on. Let God have your heart. Come on. Let God have your mind. Yes. Let God direct your path. Yes. Yes. Amen. It's a great work. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah Thank for you. God. Glory to God. You, Glory to God. And so, uh, Acts chapter 21, verse 20 says, And when they heard, they glorified the Lord and said unto him, Thou seest, brother, how many thousands of Jews there are which believe, and they are all zealous of the law. Okay. They were zealous of the law, but they've been converted. Okay. Yeah. They, they, they were hungry. The apostles made them hungry. Jesus. Hallelujah. He, they, they caused the Jews, which only believed one way, hallelujah, to desire this Jesus Christ, who they didn't believe was the Messiah. Right. But they could not deny right. all of the power and all of the miracles and all of the strength that came from these zealous Apostles Amen. that refused to be stopped no matter what they did to him. Yeah. There was several times where Paul said he was beaten thrice with rods. Right. Okay, he was shipwrecked. He had all different sorts of things. And all the apostles suffered great things, but they wouldn't be moved. Right. That's right. Moved. They wouldn't be stopped. That's the zealot. Because one of the, the <clears throat> parts of the definition of zealous is love. You love what you're doing. You love who you're doing it for. That's what causes you to be zealous. That's right. That's what causes you not to be stopped. Amen. Hallelujah. The love of God yes. will bring you forth to be able to do a mighty work for God. Amen. 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 
Amen. Glory to God. Paul has said, even so, ye, for as much as ye are zealous of spiritual gift, seek that ye may excel to the edifying of the church. Amen. Okay? When you zealous to receive something from the God, but make sure it ain't just for you. Right. Right. Yeah. I want to be able to strengthen the church. Amen. Right. I want to be able to edify the church, building up the church. Yes. Yeah. Building up, and when you build the church, we talk about the members. That's right. I want something to get on me that's going to help somebody else get what they need to get with him. Amen. Proposition. That's right. Hallelujah. So that we can um, cause to create better and stronger and more powerful disciples. Amen. Amen. I want you to be all you can be. Amen. That's, that's, that's the old army motto. That's right. Be all you can be. Come on. Hallelujah. But one of the things that you're learning about an army or a military force is all built around unity. That's right. Yeah. Get the commander's work done. Amen. And so we got to all build a unity and the faith. That's right. I want you to excel at yeah. what God calls you to do. Right. I want you to excel in prayer. I want you to excel in worship. Yeah. I want you to excel in holiness. I want you to excel. Yeah. Hallelujah. And all things that I want everybody to be able to share the word of God with somebody right. and cause them to want it. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise everybody. And any little ministry that God puts in your heart, we're going to back each other up with all of our hearts. Amen. We want everybody to rise to the top of the place where God has placed them. That's right. Hallelujah. Because that's going to make others desire, I'm going to be a part of that church family. Amen. Amen. People want to join a family. Yes. We want a family atmosphere. That's right. Amen. And so in Romans, uh, excuse me, Galatians chapter 4, verse 17, that they zealously affect you, okay, but not well. Yea, they would exclude you that ye might affect them, okay? And so those who don't want the zeal of God, they, they don't want to be affected, so they're going to try to zealously affect you to be against God. Yeah, right. They're going to complain to you. Why you go to church so much? Right. Why you wear these kind of clothes? Oh. Why you don't hang out with everybody else? Right. How come you don't like it when people are cussing in your presence? Uh -huh. You know, why, why, why are you zealous? They're going to try to zealously affect you to turn away from the things of God. That's right. Uh, that's when you got to get stone faced on. Uh -oh. <laughs> I'm not moved. I'm going to hear about it. That's Amen. right. You have no reward for me. You, <laughs> pay, you paid nothing for me. That's right. right. Jesus paid for me. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. You paid a high cost for me. Yeah. Oh, my God. I'm valuable to the Almighty yeah. God. Later in verse uh, 18, he said, But it is good to be zealously affected always in a good thing. That's right. Okay? And not only when I am present with you. Okay? In other words, not only when you're standing in front of the pastor or standing around the other side, can you be zealously affected when you're not around the church oh, member? Oh, That's right. right. Amen. Can you keep what you got? Can you keep a, can you keep a church standard? There you uh, go. Can you walk in the ways of holiness when everybody else is walking Amen. in the ways of the world? Amen. Uh, can you walk in the ways of holiness when they're teasing you about how you dress and how you act? Oh, that's right. Yo, are you going to really be a saint or you going to be an ain't? Come on, <laughs> I'm a saint in church, but I ain't when I ain't here. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Oh, it's something wrong with your zeal. Hallelujah. But it don't extend outside the house of God. That's right. Yeah. It's not really zeal, it's pretense. Amen. Come on. That's why Jesus can see through the Pharisee. It wasn't nothing fair about. It wasn't nothing right about it. You can see through the Herodians. They just wanted to be heroes. Right. It wasn't about Jesus Christ to them. Right. It wasn't about the rest of the Jews. It was about the positions that they could get. That's right. That's right. Praise yeah. God. Praise. Hallelujah. And don't even get into Sadducees. <laughs> it's sad. We ain't got no Sadducees in here, do we? No, 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 no. If you Sadducees, don't go tell nobody you go to church here. <laughs> Just say you stop by. Don't tell them why I'm a member and you sad. You see? I don't want them coming in here with their heads down. Amen. Well, something got to happen. You know? yeah. I want them to follow you because you joyful. Yeah. Come on. Because yeah. you're powerful. Yeah. yeah. Because you're happy. Right. That's right. Joy. We are a happy people. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Lord of hope. Yeah. 